What's going on today everyone? This is Barrett with Espresso Outlet. Today I wanted to show you how to connect your Kaleido Dual using the Artisan software. So the Dual is a little bit different than the Pro. The Pro only connects to the Artisan. The Dual actually utilizes the tablet as well as the Artisan software. To begin, you'll want to go to the Artisan website and then click Install Now. This will bring you to a page and you can find the Windows version of Artisan. Go ahead and download it and install it. I'm not going to go through those steps here. After you have it installed, close the software and go to KaleidoRoasters.com and click on the Manual and Support tab. What we're going to be looking for today is the Artisan files for the M1 dual system. I'm going to click the M1 since that's what we're installing today. This should download to my downloads folder, but make sure you note the name as well as the location of this file. So this is called Artisan Settings File M1 Dual System 2 because I downloaded it the other day. After that, go and open your Bluetooth settings under the Windows key. Click on your settings file. Then go to your devices. In this instance, I'm going to remove this device since it's already been paired previously. And we'll click add Bluetooth or other device. We'll select the top one, Bluetooth, mice, keyboards, etc. And we will look for the Kaleido M1. If you're unsure what it's called, go to your setup and it's actually listed at the bottom. You can actually rename it so you can name your roaster if you would like. And we are going to connect. You'll want to have your tablet handy because if you wait too long, it can actually time out. We want to click this allow button under the setup. And after we click allow, we want to click the connect button on this screen. It's going to show as connected and we can click done. Now our Kaleido tablet is connected via Bluetooth. One more step that I would recommend that can be a little bit confusing, go to your more Bluetooth options. So you need to select the Kaleido roaster and click more Bluetooth options. And then we're going to go to the COM ports. We want to check which COM port is our outgoing port. And in this case, it is COM4. And we're just going to note that in our head as a reference. So click OK. And then open the Artisan software. If it's not already been installed, go ahead and install it. So once you open it up, most of the time these sliders won't be here if it's a brand new installation of Artisan, but we're going to make it so that it has all of the M1's features by loading the help and then clicking load settings. This is where we need to remember where we downloaded those settings from the Artisan uh, Kaleido.com website, not the Artisan, excuse me. And we're going to click downloads. And in this case, we'll select that number two file that we just downloaded and click open. So once it's open, that's just the first portion of setting up your roaster. After that, we need to go to the config menu and port. Once we're in this menu, the top one, we want to set to COM4, which if you don't remember, we looked over at the more Bluetooth options, COM port, and we looked at which outgoing port was the correct port, which in this case was COM4. So coming back, we have COM4 uh, selected, and then we must change the baud rate to 9600. This is very important. Click OK. So at this point, you've set up 
your roaster to run the Artisan software. You can begin by clicking the on button and it will begin to read temperatures as well as give you some of the buttons to control the roaster. So these are all ambient temperatures and degrees Celsius for now. You can change that from Celsius to Fahrenheit. I recommend doing that. Um, we can begin to operate our roaster. So in this case, let's turn, this is the exhaust. Let's turn the exhaust fan. So there's the exhaust fan. We're gonna turn it down. Let's turn the roller on. You can kind of hear it and possibly see it a little bit. And then at the very end, when you want to cool your beans after you've dropped them, you have the function to turn your exhaust fan on and off. So that's the basic functionality of your roaster. Um, in the beginning, you'll want to preheat your roaster before you charge. And then you'll follow all the buttons to adjust the power on the screen. Now, if you wanted to load a a curve to reference off of the back, you want to click the roast background and click load. In this instance, I believe they're all on my desktop. Let's just do a trial espresso roast Brazil. This is something someone has sent me and click OK. So it's going to load that path and we'll click the OK button. Now, this is not a curve that it's going to follow, but it is a curve that you can reference. So you can adjust your fan speed and your power. We'll go into that a little bit later. This red line here is your rate of rise of your bean temp. So at the beginning, in this case, they're charging at about 179 degrees Celsius. And their turning point is at about 87.5 degrees within the first 50 seconds. So we'll go into more of the specifics on roasting later, but this is just to get you started with connecting your Kaleido Dual Series to Artisan. There is a difference between the Dual and the Pro Series. The Pro Series will be very similar. When you connect your Kaleido Roaster, you won't have this tablet to give you a pairing number. So when you connect, it will ask for a number the default number is one, two, three, four. Once you uh, type in the one, two, three, four, and then click connect, it should show the same status. You'll pretty much go through the exact same steps, but in this case, you'll want to go and download, if this is an M1 Pro, uh, you'll want to go download the Pro M1 file rather than the dual system M1 file. So subtle difference, um, I don't have one of those, at my shop so when i get that set up i'll do another video it might help some people out but that's really the only difference between the pro and the dual system in terms of connecting via bluetooth so thanks for watching let us know if you have any questions and i hope this gets you going